Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today I got a little trick for you. So if you take this little ball and you throw it just past your camera, you can... Oh. Dang it, that's like 10 years of patron money. Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're inside Vegas Pro 17. How to make a screen crack effect. It's just a fun, simple thing to do, and you're just going to need an image of a cracked screen. It needs to be like broken glass with a black background. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080 or something that you can crop to become 1920 by 1080. But once you have this image and you have your footage of just you the hitting the camera, you can actually do this effect pretty simply. Just right click and insert a new video track. We're actually going to insert two video tracks. Go ahead and drag your screen crack in just about where you need it. So what we want to do is copy this section of the video twice. And an easy way to do that is just to turn off event regrouping. That's because I have audio down here and I don't want to copy this audio as well. Highlight this top section, hold the control key and drag it to the track that you wanted. Now this video exists twice. I'm going to turn on event grouping so that way I can move audio together with this again. We're actually going to do a composite. So a simple composite creates this effect and this is going to be the video footage before the composite is needed and this will be the video footage after. So I'm going to arrow through to the moment where that little cotton ball hits the screen. So I believe that's that's the moment right there and I'm going to just grab the corner and trim edit to my marker and then I'm going to make sure this crack screen starts right there so what you do is go to this bottom track below it go to your hamburger menu and hit make compositing child now here when you select the parent compositing track you can actually go to compositing mode and then hit screen and now when you look at it, you can actually see it does a great job of kind of convincing you that this is b broken glass. Because what it does is it actually subtracts the bright values and uh, it doesn't, it subtracts the black away, but it doesn't subtract the bright values, which is a great way to kind of create a realistic see-through. So now if we watch it. I got a little trick for you. So if you take this little ball and you throw it just past your camera, you can uh, take your opacity down maybe about 85%. You can, uh, Dang it, that's like 10 years of patron money. So to help sell this effect a little bit more, you can add a sound effect in. And sound effects are really, they do a tremendous amount. And whatever your sound effect is, it's going to have like a moment of impact. And there you can see it in your sound waves. If you have trouble seeing it, just hit shift and up, and you can see your waves better. That doesn't change the volume, it just changes the wave forms when you do that. And you want to start the impact right when the screen crack starts, not sooner. Let me let you hear that desktop audio. You can, oh. Dang it, that's like 10 years of patron money. Another way to really add and help sell this effect is to add a little bit of a screen shake. Now, to do this better, I'm going to actually do this in Vegas Effect, but you can do a touch of it here in Vegas Pro as well if you don't have Vegas Effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit S and make a cut right here. And then I'm going to go make another cut right here. Now don't worry about the audio for this case. You can, uh, you can always smooth this back out if you need to. But I've made this little cut right here at this moment of impact. And in fact, I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to make it a little shorter. So this moment of impact, I want the screen to kind of rock. At that very moment, I'm going to crop it in. I'm using the default settings here. And then I'm going to move over and make another keyframe where it kind of rocks to the side. Now we're going to watch it. You can, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh. We can make that a little bit longer of an effect to go back to event pan crop. Just hit that button there to go to event pan crop. And every time you move, it's going to automatically create a keyframe. We're going to let it. You can, uh. you can, uh. you can, uh. And that's how to do a little bit of a screen shake with it in your sound effect. You can really help sell the effect overall. So thanks so much for watching this video. Like if it helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. Check out the Vegas Effects tutorial if you want to know how to add a screen shake that's got a little bit more shake to it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We've got new tutorials coming out every week.